the largest premium, premium spirit company in the world. Diego has a market cap of $27 billion. Diego has the largest established distribution system among liquor companies. Diego's top global brand, Spirnoff, Bailey's, Black Label. Diego has the, the uh, they have over than 100 social responsibility drinking programs in 45 countries and 1.1 of their profit is donated to local communities. Their goal by 2015 is to recycle 95% of solid waste. Diego is the current market leader in the liquor industry. All right. Speaking about pastel analysis, the political aspect of it is that they have to stick to the drinking age. Economical aspect is that they have been affected strongly by the recession that came on the country. Their social aspect is that uh, increasing the average of alcoholism, which is a problem that they, that they may face. Technological aspect is the new machinery they introduced last year. And the environmental aspect is that they have their thinking green this time. And their legal aspect is that they have to stick to the drinking age. SWOT analysis, their strengths is the strong market uh, share leadership they have, uh, strong financial uh, position maybe, weakness is the high gearing and the, pre and the recession again that they face. Opportunities are the pr product and, se and service expansion, stake over acquisitions. The threat is the fear about the social health impact of alcoholism consumption. Now the Portis Five Forces and their buyers, they have a very low, they have a very low, uh, they, have a, uh, they have very low power on their buyers, but their suppliers, they have a strong power on their suppliers because they, have, they can buy from whoever they want. The threat of the new entry is, is rather low and the threats of substitutes is on a, on a medium level. The rivalry is high because of the competition in the alcoholism market. Hello, I'm, oh, so I'm going to talk about um, their competing values. They compete with a rational goal value. This specifies that they have to have a certain goal and clarify this goal. The goal that they promote is each of their top brands are all over the world. Um, and they basically quote on their website that they want this to be enjoyed by future generations. They operate in more than 80 countries as they are one of the main suppliers of alcohol within Europe. When talking about their risk analysis, the currency exposure is due to depreciate of the British pound versus the US dollar. When talking about their profitability and their key driver, drivers, they have premium products and their premium products have a high brand loyalty. Also, they have a distribution network and this is efficient um, and this creates high competitive advantage for them. Thank you.